Hello. I noticed the other day on a Zeke Guys podcast, Peter Joseph mentioned and seemed to be in favour of universal basic income. I find it odd that P- Peter Joseph would, would uh, mention this because he presumably understands money. He used to, used to work as a stockbroker. I thought he understood the way the economy works and how business works. Because unless I've misunderstood the concept, one of two things is going to happen. Either in partnership with government, business and government are going to provide a universal basic income to people who can't get a job or who uh, just become redundant. Or it's just going to be a, or there's still going to be the same old system of unemployment benefits, pensions, and and also universal basic income, which would be to those who lost the jobs and would be uh, funded strictly by the company who sacked these people. So, but what happens, and this is all due to presumably the rise of automation. Now, what happens when someone installs automation is they do it because it's cheaper than having manual labor. So they might look at the numbers and say, well, we can save, uh, you know, 25% or whatever, whatever it may be, but how much they save if they also have to factor in universal basic income payments, and presumably, indefinitely, like presumably to the age of pension or something, I don't know how it's going to work, but don't forget, there's no no point giving someone 400 bucks a week, or whatever it is, and not give them also health care benefits, so up goes the cost automatically. Um... Yeah, the, the unemployed don't cost their dole check. They cost the dole check plus all the benefits they receive. So if you think about it, you know, there's, there's just not enough money to go around. I mean, Im- imagine um, automating and saving only 7%. And of that 7%, you're supposed to pay a 1,000 people universal basic income. It's just not gonna, surely it's not going to add up. I mean, maybe we could do the numbers and maybe there is something to it, but I just don't see it. To me, universal basic income is just is just another dial payment. In other words, the government either has the income to pay the dial or it doesn't, and I don't think it does. I certainly doesn't have enough to pay 30 or 40% of unemployed people. Now, of course, you know, there was an article, not I think, written last year that said uh, unemployment by... 2030 was expected to be, say, 40% due to automation. Let's drop the number back to, say, 25%, which is bad in itself. Now, 2030 is only about 13 years away, so let's say in the next seven years, we're up to 12 or 13%, 14, 15% unemployment. Can you see the writing on the wall? Can you see the problem that's about to occur? I mean, I mean, unemployment's not going to stop at 25% or 30% or 40%. It'll stop when the system collapses. So that there's an end point there, a very undesirable one. Now, of course, all our problems can be solved using the economic model of the Zeitgeist movement and the Venus Project, which is full automation and all that entails.